Hey there YouTubers! I wanted to share my first calculator with you. Um, it was the early 1970s and I've always enjoyed calculating equipment and so I got a calculator. But what do you do if you're a young teenager, you don't have much money and you want a calculator? Well you go down to the local business supply store and buy a used calculator. A used calculator from about the 1940s. And here she is, a Frieden Model D rotary calculator. Don't know why I got it, I just always like calculating equipment and it's traveled with me since then and I recently pulled it out of storage and cleaned it up a little bit and lo and behold, it still works. Pretty amazing thing. Here's the electrical connector, it takes line voltage, and here's the line cord. Quality repair job, 600 volt uh, electrical tape there. And if we look, hey, it's a Belden cord. Remember, this is from the uh, probably the early 1940s. We'll change camera angle so you get a better view of the, key of the keyboard. Okay, here's a shot of the keyboard of the uh, Frieden Model D rotary calculator. This was made by the Frieden Calculating Machine Company in San Leandro, California, and I think around 1940. Uh, interesting piece of equipment. If you can imagine a room full of young ladies that were operating these, uh, that was the calculating method of the time. And in fact, the young ladies would have been called computers. And uh, once you hear this thing operate, you can imagine a room full of these things chugging away. It must have been a pretty noisy, uh, noisy place. Keyboard's pretty interesting. The keys lock down, so if I put 100 in, or if I put 110 in, that's 110, and I can clear individual keys with the red buttons. Or here's one, two, three. If I want to clear the entire row, I just hit the clear button here. This button will carry the numbers up into the upper part of the carriage and the bottom part of the carriage tabulates the number of operations that were performed. I can move the carriage with these buttons or I can return the carriage and clear it with that. If I want to do a simple adding operation, I'd push it into the add mode and I'd put my number in and enter it into the upper carriage with this button. Now, if I want to add another number to that, push down 222, and the resultant number appears at the top. I'll do a close-up of the, uh, the numbers then so you can see that operation. If you wanted to, and then if you want to clear it, we hit the Return Clear button. Very satisfying. If you want to multiply a number, you'd put the number in here, Enter it. For instance, if I want to multiply 1, 2, 3 by, say, 2, 3, I push this down three times. You can hold it down and it automatically goes up. I move the carriage over once, and then I push it down again twice. So here I have 1, 2, 3, and then I can see a 2, 3 in these windows, and the resultant answer is 2,829. We'll clear that. You can also subtract. Let's say we have 2,500 and we enter that into the upper carriage and then we clear that off and then we want to subtract, um, let's say 66. We hit the subtract button here and it subtracts the 66 from the number that was first entered and we get uh, 2,434. Now we'll clear it again. Now, let's, uh, let's do some division. Let's take 999. We enter it into the upper carriage with this button. Clear it off. Now we move the carriage over. We clear the bottom, because that's where our answer is going to show up. And let's divide 999 by 88. We hit the divide lever here. Okay. It gives us an answer of 
with a remainder of 31. And we'll hit the clear button again. And uh, I'm going to switch camera angles again so you get a little closer view of the number column. Okay, that's about as good a shot as I can get on the uh, on the numbers on the carriage. Um, let's take a look at some numbers rolling real good here. I'm going to divide nine. I'll just enter all nines. Two, three, nine. 99,999,999. I'll get that in the carriage. Clear the keyboard off. Clear my answer column. Move the carriage over. And let's divide it by uh, um, let's divide it by two. So I enter a two in the keyboard. And then I hit my division lever. And this is very satisfying. Okay, apparently 999,999,999 divided by 2 equals 49,999,999 with a remainder of 1. And that's how you do division on a uh, rotary calculator. That's uh, kind of an interesting little toy. Quite old, and amazingly it still works. Thanks for watching.